Hi friends, good morning. Let us look at the next problem in uh, quadratic equations. See friends, uh, x square minus 52x plus 667 is equal to 0 and y square minus 60y plus 899 is equal to 0. See both the equations are in the form of uh, ax square minus bx plus c is equal to 0. ax square minus bx plus c is equal to 0. If the given quadratic equation is in the form of either ax square minus bx plus c is equal to 0 or ax square plus bx plus c is equal to 0. If the given quadratic equation is in either of these two forms, then sum of the roots, sum of the roots must be this one. Sum of the roots must be 52 and uh, product of the roots, product of the roots is equal to AC, one, of course coefficient of x square here is 1, 1 into 667, uh, product must be 667. <coughs> here also, sum must be, sum must be 60 and product must be 1 into 899, uh, 899. <coughs> now, here if you look at this number 667, this is uh, somewhat closer to closer to square of 26. Square of uh, 26. What is the 26? 52, 52 is equal to 26 plus 26. 26 plus 26. Here 667 is a uh, closer to 26, but uh, 26 into 26, uh, 676. Next, you, next what you have to do is, you get the prior number, preceding number, 25 plus 27, you try this one, this pair, 25, but 5 sevens are 35, here we have to get a 7, so this is not our combination. Next, uh, 24, 28. But 4 8s are 32. This is not our combination. So, next 23 plus 29. Uh, yes, this must be our combination. 23 plus uh, 29. 23 into 29. Uh, C 667. So, our roots are x values are 23, 29. X values are 23, 29. Here uh, coming to sign. Coming to sign of the roots, here uh, B is minus, A and C are plus. If B is minus, A and C are plus, both the roots are positive. So, X is equal to plus 23, plus 29. In the same way here, here 899 is uh, square, closer to, closer to square of 30. 60 is equal to 30 plus 30. But 30, 30 is 900. Here it is 899. So, you write the preceding number. 29. Here you write the after number. 29 into 31. 29 into 31, 9 into 1, 9. So, mostly 29 into 31 must be our roots. So, y is equal to 29 and 31. So, y is equal to 29 and 31. <coughs> now we have to compare both the values of x with both the values of y. <coughs> See, here 23 is less than both 29 and 31. So, less than. Here 29 is less than 31 but equal to 29. So, altogether we are getting two relations either less than or equal to. So, here our relation is x less than or equal to y. Okay, friends. Thank you. Have a nice day.